What's up guys, this is Delta. Today we are going to be taking a look at update number four, new assignment that is going to be releasing tomorrow. I do apologize that I got to this video a little late, I had a lot of shit to do today. But we are going to go over this thing, super excited for it. It releases tomorrow, March 14th. It brings not only one, not two, but three new operators for the marksman in the support category. And also we have a couple patch notes and I will leave that down at the top link in the description below. And also this trailer down in the description below if you guys would like to watch it or look at the patch notes or anything. The only things I saw that were interesting in there was that you can defuse mines now. If you spot a mine and you're really close to it, you can actually defuse it, which is pretty cool. Uh, the tech jammer, once you lay the tech jammer down, it no longer reveals the tech jammer's location, which is pretty exciting. Then they got the map voting system. They said something about prestige credits in there. A whole bunch of good stuff, so make sure you guys check it out. But without further ado, I'm going to let this uh, trailer roll, and we're going to just pick apart it a little bit. We're going to talk about the operators and some of the new stuff that they're bringing. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. Hey, ghosts. Last month, the Ghost War PvP mode saw the release of the new Extraction mode. This intense new mode tasks one attacking team to find and extract a high-value target, while the other team defends. On March 14th, to celebrate the end of our first year of Ghost Recon Wildlands content, we are proud to introduce our fourth free Ghost War update, New Assignment. This update reveals three brand new classes. The first of these classes is the Trapper. Equipped with a semi-automatic sniper rifle, the Trapper is both an accurate marksman and an ingenious baiter. His passive ability allows him to locate downed enemies, which can be useful to defend their location. He can also deploy remote traps that will release knockout gas that temporarily stuns enemies when triggered. Alright, so we're going to look at this class real quick. So this one is called... I got to look back at the names, man. The names are so freaking badass in this, uh, in this little update right here. So the first class is named Trapper, and it looks like he's carrying a G28. They said a uh, sniper rifle, semi-automatic semi -automatic sniper rifle. So it looks like he's carrying a G28, which I'm really not a huge fan of. I hope they have some different options in there that are a little more viable. Uh, G28 is the same uh, weapon that the recruit actually uh, carries, which I really do not like that weapon. Really, really don't. Um, so it looks like what he does is basically like the Sentinel. You know, you pop off like a little flare uh, kind of animation will go up a little bit. Uh, as you can see, he pulls out the little flare gun, and it has, like, a big line, and then it has a circle at the end of it, which basically indicates that you're, you know, whatever you're popping off is going here. For instance, this guy is basically, like, tear gas. So if you step in it, it's going to temporarily, no like, blind you, which is pretty insane. Um, I definitely think this is going to be useful. This is going to be good for all the rushers that, you know, cut them off, you know, temporarily just give them a little bang for their buck. Um, so yeah, this is definitely gonna be a good class. It's almost like the Sentinel's little brother because I feel like the Sentinel is gonna be way more viable uh, in the future, but this one definitely uh, sparks my interest. You know, being a marksman myself, you know, liking the sniper rifles and the Sentinel and all that, uh, definitely excited to try this class out. So we're gonna continue on with the trailer. Uh, we're gonna go and we're gonna start off from right here. The second class to join the battlefield is the Gorilla. The Gorilla is specialized in cover and diversion strategies. Equipped with a smoke grenade launcher drone, the Gorilla can create smoke screens for both offensive and defensive tactics. Any players inside the covered zones are occluded and can be marked by aiming, binoculars, or drones. These smoke covers will allow you to safely revive friendlies and to cover their movements. All right, so the next one we have here is named Gorilla, and his ability is a smoke grenade drone, which everybody has been asking for, including me, and I'm super excited to be playing this character because this character right here is going to add a whole new era of tactics when it comes to Ghost War. Super excited to play him. Revives are going to be a little more intimidating and, uh, you know, positioning your kills as to where to kill somebody in order to get them in a really uncomfortable spot. You know, you can now throw smoke screens and, you know, it, it's just going to be great. This character is definitely much needed. Hopefully we get to see something like this in the campaign as well. I know a lot of people were asking about the campaign for smoke grenades and all that. Uh, it'd be pretty cool. But the fact that this thing comes not in like, you know, just a smoke grenade that you throw out of your pocket. It's actually a smoke drone is definitely pretty cool. This one now. The third class of this update is a Stalker. The Stalker is an expert sharpshooter specialize in silently dispatching enemies from afar. Her special ability allows her to mark her enemies without notifying them, creating unpredictable situations in which the enemy can be ambushed. Furthermore, thanks to her subsonic ammunition, 
her sound markers will only be visible from close range. You will be able to dis- Alright, so that third and final class, and this one is named- Oh my god, these names are so badass. I think this one name was Stalker, right? I think something like that. I'm pretty sure, yeah. So this one is named Stalker, and this one, it seems like it comes with an SR1, but I'm not 100% sure, and I don't really think it's true, uh, that the SR1 comes silenced. I'm not 100% on that. It doesn't look like it does. But basically what this character does is when it actually marks somebody, the player does not know that they're marked, which is pretty awesome. And as a, as a marksman class, you get pretty upset when you're sitting there lining up a shot with a crossbow or the sniper rifle, and you can always turn your auto mark on. But how sick would it be if you could just line up a shot and somebody not know they're marked when you can actually see the mark? And that's exactly what this class does, which is pretty awesome. And also, if you're not like within, I believe they said 50 meters from it, or really close range of this class, you cannot see any sound markage. So it's basically if this class does not already have a silencer on it, it basically is like this class has a silencer on it unless you're close up to it. So it's pretty cool. I'm definitely digging all these classes. I think definitely the most useful one is going to be the uh, Stalker right here and also the Gorilla. The Gorilla and the Stalker together are going to be absolutely amazing. Uh, can't wait to play them. So three or so two marksmen, one support. Definitely excited for this. I'm going to let the uh, rest of the trailer roll out so you guys can see the maps and everything. Uh, and I'll also put up a video of me going to the maps if I can figure out where they are in the campaign. But that's going to be it. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. I'm going to let the rest of it roll out. Thank you so much for all the continued support. And I will be doing tons of videos tomorrow. And tons of, uh, or we'll do a stream tomorrow as well going over everything new. Thank you for all the continued support. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out. The Stalker is an expert sharpshooter. Specializing in silently dispatching enemies from afar. Her special ability allows her to mark her enemies without notifying them. Creating unpredictable situations in which the enemy can be ambushed. Furthermore, thanks to her subsonic ammunition, her sound markers will only be visible from close range. You will be able to discover these new classes in the two new maps coming with this update. Finally, and following community requests, a map voting feature will also be included, which allows you to select your preferred maps and modes in between matches. And for those of you that also play the PvE mode of Ghost Recon Wildlands, all icons will now be available for the main game too. It has been a tremendous experience building this first year of content with you all. We want to thank the incredible Ghost Recon Wildlands community for all the fun we've had up to now, and we will see you very soon for a very special update.